Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can promote certain search results uh, via the bookmarks feature in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me first demonstrate this to you and um, then I will show you how to set it up. So I'm going to navigate to my uh, SharePoint start page. This is where I can, of course, search, you know, whatever it is I want to search for in SharePoint, right? Files, folders, you know, news, etc. But you know what? I need to see the holiday schedule for the next year, all right? I need to find that holiday schedule. I have no idea where it is in our internet, could be on any of those, uh, you know, sites, maybe HR, maybe main site. I have no idea. Not a problem. So in this case, you just type in holiday schedule all right uh, now it gives me a bunch of results of course you know for different um, you know files and pages that match this particular criteria but you know what uh, i really don't care about any of those why because i have a promoted result here that shows me and gives me the url apparently of some uh, holiday you know schedule that we have all right just like that, all right? And suppose we, we see the schedule here of company holidays. Um, so how do we get to this, all right? How can we promote certain results? Let's say uh, here's a use case, maybe uh, HR published um, a list of company holidays or maybe some important policy document. And when people search for it, uh, obviously they want it, you know, uh, to be on top of the results. Uh, let me show you how to achieve this. So uh, you do need to be an admin for this, right? If you are a regular site member or a site owner even of your HR site, it's not going to work. You really need to be, this is a global admin kind of feature, so you, we do need to go behind the scenes. So you do need to have uh, access kind of behind the scenes. Um, and I'm going to go to the admin center. Uh, uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, that is. And uh, we are going to navigate to uh, all admin centers. These are all the different uh, admin centers that exist in your tenant, in, in your environment. Uh, you want to click on Search and Intelligence Center and click on the Answers tab and then Bookmarks, all right? Uh, now, uh, you are going to see uh, a list of various kind of bookmarks uh, that will already kind of exist. I will explain to you what they are later. Uh, for now, um, I want to show you, by the way, here's the one I created. Remember that holiday schedule? I created a bookmark for that, all right? Uh, let me actually show you um, uh, how to create a bookmark and then uh, I'll, I'll explain uh, all of these other ones. So uh, add a bookmark, all right? And uh, this is like a preview and you give it a name, all right? You give it a name and uh, whatever it is that um, um, you want to promote. Let's say we want uh, to uh, promote some policy or something, I don't know, all right? And the next field is URL field. Now it's mandatory, all right? So the idea here is that you don't really provide an answer here, all right, uh, or publish some text or anything like that. The idea is that your content already exists somewhere, all right, maybe in some PDF or something, and you just point uh, the URL to it. So that's where you paste it. And then a very brief description of whatever it is that you uh, are publishing, all right? Uh, you can say company policy or something, all right? And then you have to supply the uh, the keywords, all right? Uh, now, uh, there are two fields for keywords, generic keywords and reserved keywords. The difference is that uh, you can actually specify, um, you know, essentially, uh, you, know, you know, different combinations of keywords, all right? Uh, it could be maybe, you know, holiday schedule, company holiday schedule, company schedule, you know, stuff like that. So uh, essentially, these are the keywords that will trigger that particular bookmark to appear. On the reserved keyword, 
All right, uh, so um, those are unique. Those are unique because you can have the same keyword and maybe it triggers multiple bookmarks or something, all right? But with reserved keyword, it's kind of a, a, just a one-to-one -one match. So if I want a holiday schedule, for example, when somebody types in holiday schedule or company schedule, I want uh, this particular file to appear, right? So it's one-to-one -one relationship, then it's a reserved keyword, all right? Um, essentially, this keyword will only trigger this particular uh, response and nothing else, all right? And then you can organize them into different the bookmarks into different categories. But uh, one other section uh, worth uh, mentioning is that is this section over here. This is where you can actually specify and target your bookmarks. Uh, for example, a uh, company, you know, holiday schedule, right? Maybe the schedule only applies to U.S., to U.S. employees, right? And maybe if uh, somebody logs in from, you know, Canada or, you know, Europe, uh, you really don't want to show them <laughs> this, you know, particular PDF file, right? A you know, holiday schedule. So what you can do, you can specify who will be the audience here for this promoted uh, bookmark. Uh, by default, it will show to everyone, but you know what? I can actually just say, you know what? Uh, we are just going to, uh, you know, choose, uh, you know, U.S. for example, right? Uh, so essentially, uh, you will uh, you will address it just to the U.S. employees, all right? And then after you populate all this information, you click publish. Let's pretend I did this, and what will happen? It will appear in this list, all right? And let me just click on this so you can see. Uh, how uh, it looks. Uh, I don't think it loaded correctly, so let me try it again. Just like that, here we go, all right? And um, um, yeah, I mean, this is it pretty much. Uh, this is how it will appear. You see a bit of preview, all right? Uh, and uh, by the way, remember those categories uh, that I specified, uh, sorry, the keywords that I specified, and you know, as long as people type them in, it will trigger that particular uh, you know, result, all right, that particular result, all right? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Now, you might be, so a couple of other things I wanted to mention. So as I mentioned earlier, um, the, uh, so by default, you're already going to see a bunch of these bookmarks. And essentially, these are uh, bookmarks that Microsoft created for you. So for example, uh, let's say if I type in a word, right, the existing one, so let's give it a try. All right, so I'm going to type in word. All right, it's going to give me a, a bookmark, uh, I assume, to Word application or something like this, all right? So essentially, Microsoft already created a bunch of these bookmarks. And if you want to delete them, you can actually delete them. Uh, another thing uh, you um, you can do, uh, yeah, you can exclude, you know, certain, uh, certain URLs uh, if you don't want... Um, if you don't want uh, them to maybe to appear, all right? So you can do that. Uh, and uh, what else I wanted to show you? Oh, um, uh, so I, a little bit earlier, I recorded another video uh, on my channel uh, that is kind of similar to what we're covering today. And uh, this was a video where you can also promote questions and answers, all right? And you might be wondering what the uh, difference is between bookmarks and Q&A. And let me explain to you the difference, all right? They kind of do the same thing. They kind of do the same thing. Let me just show you. So I set up uh, this holiday schedule, uh, all right, uh, as, um, as a bookmark. And then I set up, this is how it appears, and then I set up uh, how to change password as question and answer. All right, so it appears a little bit differently. You get a little bit different a box uh, without an icon, I guess. But why would you use one or another? What is the difference between bookmarks and Q&A? When you add uh, an answer, when you want to promote an answer, it kind of looks the same. It kind of looks the same. You have the keywords and you can target uh, different regions and everything, but the key difference is here. When you create a question and answer, you obviously have to give it a title. The URL is optional. The idea behind Q&A is that the answer will appear as text, all right, as text in, uh, in here, in the search bar, uh, in search result, all right? 
with bookmarks, the idea is that uh, the uh, URL already exists, all right? So if I click here, all right, the idea here is actually, let me uh, try creating a new one um, just so that you can see. Uh, let me, I think I have it selected, all right? And uh, let me try to add a new bookmark. Yeah, over here. Uh, URL is, uh, it, with Q&A, URL is, was optional and description was mandatory and also the description was um, quite extensive. It had, uh, you, know, um, you know, it allowed for many more characters. Here is the other way around. Bookmark assumes that you already have a document, maybe like a PDF of uh, company holidays or whatever, and you just point to it. So bookmarks is for something nice and short. And... Um, Answers are for pretty much something that you would type in and uh, have results appear right in the body of the search result. All right. Uh, one last thing I wanted uh, to mention is that uh, you know how uh, you can have um, different, um, you know, keywords right trigger in different bookmarks and uh, answers. All right. Uh, in case, in case, if you uh, maybe use the same keyword for bookmark and Q&A, according to Microsoft, the bookmark takes the precedence, all right? So if I use the same keyword for both, maybe for Q&A here and a bookmark here, the bookmark uh, will appear instead of the answer, all right? So I just wanted to mention that, all right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to mention in this particular video. Hopefully, uh, you learned something new and found it useful. Uh, as always, happy uh, to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, uh, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.